Hi, it's Terry Stevenson of the Builder All Team, and in this final video of the Creating a Blog series, we're going to learn about transferring, deactivating, and removing a blog. Let's take a look at what we've created in this training series. I've brought you here to the home page of the layout that we have created for the Fruit Shop website. And you can see we're in a completely different layout than the layout we use to create the Fruit Shop website. We have a different header and a different footer. And this is what would be the home page of that layout. The wonderful thing about the Pixel Perfect Blog Builder app is that it automatically generates those pages for us. On the blog page, we have a running list of our most recent posts, opt-in forms, and we've specifically designed the sidebar to reflect what we want to show on our blog pages. We also have a news page, and when our first post gets posted later today, we'll be able to see it. We've learned how to include categories and tags and search bars to make navigating our blog much easier for our readers to find the content they're looking for. And we've learned how to manage our posts and our blog in the manager. Let's take a look at that blog manager again clicking on the newspaper and of course this is where we're going to manage our blog on a daily basis. We have all news, published news, our draft, those posts scheduled, categories, and tag. Our blog manager becomes an important part of managing our time, making it easy to contribute great content on a regular basis. There are a few other functions here that we should talk about. Right here we have transfer blog. When you click that, a card pops up and asks you to select a layout for your blog. Now we only have one layout, but if you wanted to transfer it to a different layout, perhaps with a different header and footer or different design aspects of that, you would create a new layout and you could transfer that here just by selecting it. That becomes really important because you can then create different looking blogs with different content and put them in a different layout and install them on page on your website that perhaps requires the attention focused on a different part of the content you're sharing. When you click on deactivate the blog, it's going to pop up with an alert letting you know that you're going to need to reload the editor to deactivate this blog. Now, deactivating the blog does not remove the blog pages from your website. It only makes them unavailable to the public. So the blog is still there. You can reactivate it at any time. And it's a better option than just deleting blog pages while you're considering whether or not you're going to remove it entirely. Anytime that I'm considering removing a blog from a site, I generally will deactivate it first and let it sit there idle until I am really confident that I definitely want to remove those pages. If we come down here to remove blog and it's in bright red for a reason and we click that, we're given a pop-up alert saying if you follow through with removing this blog, it will erase all the pages, all the data from your blog entirely. There's no going back from this action. Once it's gone, it's gone. So be certain you want to remove those pages before you do that. I suggest deactivating it for some time and then coming back to it if you're sure you want to remove it entirely before you remove all those pages from your site. So the blog manager is where you come to manage your blog on a daily basis. And we've learned so much in this training series about how to build a beautiful blog customized exactly the way you want it to reflect your business. We've learned how to manage the content. We've learned how to manage 
the data, and even how to add individual elements on pages using those blog app elements. So we've learned a lot. I hope you found this information very valuable. Blogs are an amazing way to grow your audience organically. Just remember to share valuable relative content, develop that like, know, and trust factor, and you're going to find that the Builderall Pixel Perfect Blog Builder is one of your most valuable assets on any of the pages you build for your business, your friends and family, and your clients. So I hope you've enjoyed this series. I look forward to seeing you in the community or in another training video from the Builderall training team.